Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I am bringing back another comparison video and for our game today we have two steam mobs. We have the Bissell Symphony Vacuum and Steam Mob and we have the Bissell Power Fresh. I've owned these two mobs for a while now. I kind of got this one first and then after a few months I got this one and clearly to me right now I've been reaching for one more than the other. So I'm not going to spoil the video this early. If you want to know which one is going to win in this contest, you have to wait to the end of the video because we totally have a clear winner and I'm going to also share with you guys which one you should buy but first I'm going to go over the two mobs show you what they can do do like a little test or battle and then at the end we'll share like I said which one is the clear winner so before we get started on this video please be sure to subscribe to my channel down below hit that thumbs up and with all of that said let's get started Alright guys, so let's talk about the cost and price first. So the Bissell Symphony is about $200 on Bissell.com and the Bow Fresh is about $100. Now this one costs twice as much because it is two in one. It is vacuum and steam mop. So that's why it is a little bit more expensive. But I always shop deals and sale. So I got this one for less than $100 and I got this one for less than $200. So always keep an eye out for sale and deals. Next, we're talking about the cleaning functions so for starter both of these machines are easy to use and easy to store as well and they both operate in a similar way they only use water so no soap or chemicals the hot steam is what to clean and disinfect your floor but the main difference here is the Bissell Symphony has vacuum and steam mop both in one so you can actually use it to steam and vacuum separately or you can vacuum and steam at the same time whereas the power fresh it is only steam mop that you can use to sanitize and to clean your floor and you guys know when it comes to mopping for best results you really have to vacuum and sweep your floors first otherwise you're going to spread around those crumbs and large pieces and you're going to end up with the sticky messes all over your floors so because this one has the vacuum function built into it, it has this dust canister and filter that the Bower Fresh doesn't have. And because of that, this one is a little bit more heavier. So this one weighs about 10.5 pounds and the Bower Fresh weighs 6.2 pounds. But when it comes to the vacuuming Bower, this one has more than enough power to remove all the large and small pieces and dust and debris, just picks up everything out of your floor. When it comes to household chores, you quickly get tired if you have to drag the cleaning tools from one room to another. So having a good length size of cord is really nice. It's especially important to me because you guys know I really don't like to deal with corded machines. I like cordless stuff, but I don't think right now they make steam mop cordless yet. I guess they need a lot of power to heat up the water and produce steam. So until they do, we have really nice cord on both machines actually. This one, the Symphony, the cord is 25 feet versus the power fresh is 23 feet. So I usually don't have to unplug and plug too many times when I'm using both machines. Now, like I said, both machines are very easy to use and you don't really have to move furniture around to clean. Like you can hit underneath the chair really quickly while you're mopping. Their long cords really allow you to reach tight spaces and corners. This can save you from having to break your back, trying to move furniture around and doing those hard to reach areas by hand. Now the Bissell Symphony has two side brushes that help brush off dirt next to baseboards and corners. Whereas the Bower Fresh doesn't have those edge brushes, but it has this brush in the back here that you can put down whenever you need to scrub something tough or you can leave it up when you don't need it. I personally don't find myself using it that often. The Bissell Symphony has two steam settings, low and high, and has one setting on and off for the vacuum. And they are located right here on the handle for easy reach. Whereas the Bower Fresh, the controls are on the body. Now you really have to bend down to kind of 
choose your setting. I got used to usually just fill up my water tank and when I place it on here, while I'm down here, I can choose my steam setting. And now I usually don't really switch between them. I just hit high and use it on high because it does have three steam settings. It has low for delicate floor, medium for regular cleaning, and high setting for those sticky messes and durable floor. And the Symphony has the trigger button inside the handle that has to be held down the whole time you're mopping in order to release steam. Whereas the Bauer Fresh, the steam is continuously. I prefer this better because I really like not having to press down on the handle the entire time I'm mopping. Just I love, you know, having the steam going by itself. Now they both came with a set of washable pads, scrubby and soft. So the Power Fresh came with a set of two, one soft pad and one scrubby. And the Symphony came with a set of four, two scrubby pads and two soft. So when you are steam cleaning light, thin messes, you'll be using the soft pad, which easily removes those kind of messes. But if you want to steam clean tough stains and denser messes, you'll be using the scrubby pads, which is excellent at scrubbing out those kind of messes and replacement pads are available for both machines for the power fresh they are actually available locally but for the Bissell symphony you kind of have to order them online i like to shop online anyways you get like a set of six on amazon for like 20 dollars for both machines and the two steam mops have a nice size water tank. I'm usually able to clean my floors with a single water tank. The Symphony can hold about 13 ounces of water and the Bauer Fresh can hold about 16 ounces of water. Now the water tank on the Bauer Fresh is removable, which is really handy. On the Symphony, it is not. You have to use this cup that came with it to fill it up. Now, I do prefer having a removable water tank because sometimes, you know, I'm always worried about you know losing this water cup and sometimes if it's not next to me i use like a cup or anything next to me water bottle and that can actually be a mess so don't do that lastly i want to talk about maintenance let's say you mop your floor what you do to your mop next so if you're using the Bauer Fresh, maintenance are very simple. You just have to remove the water tank if you have any water left in it, dump it out, give it a nice rinse and set it aside so it can dry. And of course, remove the bed and throw that in the washing machine. If I'm feeling good sometimes, I do give a wipe down to the entire mop. If I'm feeling good. Now, the Bissell Symphony requires little more maintenance like because we have this dirt tank here you really have to empty that out remove the filter wash that wash the dust canister and set those aside so they can dry for 24 hours or more and also the bottom foot you have to check every once in a while there's the opening for the vacuum you have to check since water and steam is involved with the vacuuming i feel sometimes the debris gets stuck on it so you have to use toothbrush to clean that out and this will recommend Recommend to do that every single time you use the machine if you guys watch my clean of the symphony video I went an entire week without cleaning it because I needed to make that video and I needed to show some dirt so I didn't clean it for an entire week nothing really happened I I kind of remember losing some suction with the vacuum uh, function but nothing else but after I cleaned it and I actually like did the full maintenance I even removed the hose and cleaned that and it came back like charm it's working perfectly now do i do this maintenance every time i have to be honest with you not all the time especially you know during the holiday season i'm mopping my floor sometimes 1 a.m so i'm not gonna do that the best i can do i can remove the pad through that in the washing machine and again if i'm feeling good i'll dump the canister out and just give it a quick rinse so like you guys see this is really important thing to mention because the symphony it definitely requires more maintenance than the power fresh all right guys first time so we have some dried mud on my tile my husband was playing outside again and he tracked in some mud so thank you sir you can get out of here so we can clean that thank you all right guys we're going to perform a couple of tests to see which one is going to do best now i got some of the access uh, like a dry mud out of here so we can focus on these two tiles so we have very much dry mud like you guys see it's 
very much dry. Now the symphony has the vacuum on it, so it's going to take care of those large pieces, but the power fresh doesn't. So let's actually run them and see. As you guys can see the symphony with the single pass it got rid of a lot of those large pieces and the floor looked like it did an okay job uh, but on this side you guys can see the power fresh is just smeared those large pieces around you can see them right here on the grout but that is to be expected with the power fresh because again it doesn't have a vacuum function but i'm going to see right now if i can clean all this up with the symphony and it's very important when you're cleaning something like that to change the bath after you get rid of all the dirt change the bath put fresh one on and then go over it just to make sure you got it all out next i'm going to try it on a sticky messes here we have some maple syrup and cereal again it is all dried up classic breakfast messes that sometimes we have in our kitchen so again i'm going to go over it single pass with each machine and let's see how we do Alright guys, so again, the symphony side looks and feels better than the Bower Fresh. Here I can still feel some maple setup in this section over here. The rest actually kind of okay. So right now what I'm going to do, I'm going to swap these dirty baths because it is, you know, sticky maple setup. So I have to swap them, put fresh one on and then let's clean this mess up. I have some all-purpose cleaner in this bottle here and I have a paper towel. I'm just going to spray it and let's see if we have anything left over. And four. I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up, but my paper towel is actually very clean. Let's try this side. And I'm going to flip my paper towel to the other side now. That's very clean too. All right guys, so now it is time to announce our winner. I feel like that show AFE when he says, and the winner is. But before I say the name, I have to say both mobs offer great cleaning power, but ultimately the Bissell Symphony offer power, convenient and efficiency. Efficient steam mopping and also great vacuuming experience. Really the vacuum, the added vacuum function is a huge plus, is what makes it more efficient than the Bauer Fresh. And I love having the option, if I want to steam clean my floor alone, I can do that. If I want to vacuum alone, I can do that. If I want to do both at, the, at once, I can do that as well. So I like having that option. Whereas the Bauer Fresh it is just steam mop. So who doesn't like not having to use two devices where just one will do? So for that very reason, our winner is the Bissell Symphony. Now, which one you should buy? If you feel like splurging, I would definitely recommend getting the best of the best and going for the Bissell Symphony. It vacuums and mops dual functions in one device that save you time and effort. Convenience is the whole point of steam mobbing. Am I right? However, if you want something cheaper yet more effective than regular mopping, then the Bower Fresh is a great option for you. But always, like I said, watch out for deals and sales. I never pay full price for anything. I believe I got the Symphony for about $170 and the Bower Fresh, I spent more than $80. Keep an eye out for the sales. And that is it for this video, guys. I really hope that you all enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun filming it. So if you did enjoy it, please thumbs it up and I'll see you next time. Bye.